artery here, and branches coming off going into the uh, cortex. This is the cortical radiate artery, and that's where the direction of blood's going. And these little chan these little branches off going toward the capillary bed here, it's called the afferent arteriole. It forms this capillary bed called the glomerulus. And the arteriole that leaves is called the efferent arteriole. Okay, so here's your glomerular capsule here. When this glomerulus leaks, this is the capsular space. This is what's got like the fluids that are going to be uh, pushed out of the glomerulus are called filtrate. So the filtrate is going to leak out of the glomerulus into this capsular space, and that contains a whole lot of stuff, water, glucose, electrolytes, salts, bicarbonate, all kinds of stuff. But it's going to be reabsorbed pretty quickly right after the um, fluid leaves this. I forgot to draw this on here. The leaving vessel out of this uh, glomerulus is going to be called the proximal convoluted tubule. percent of what's going to be reabsorbed is going to be reabsorbed in this proximal convoluted tubule. So the other 10% is going to be qualified the rest of the way down the tubule. So we'll talk more about that in lecture, okay? I'm just labeling some things because you can look at the models and tell them.